Hi everyone, this is Vince. I'm an applications engineer at Hawkridge Systems and today I'm going to go over some advanced techniques for the sweep feature. In the basic sweep video, I covered making a sweep, using the contour selection tool, using twist in your sweep, and also the importance of the Pierce relation. So feel free to go back to our YouTube channel and look at that basic sweep video for those techniques. Today I'm going to go over the difference between keeping normal constant versus following the path in your orientation type and also using a guide curve to uh, control the actual shape of your sweep. So I have a simple part here, it's basically a pipe. I have a profile, a circular profile, and then I just have a path. So going into my sweep feature, I'm going to choose the profile and choose the path and we get our preview there. Now if I go under options here, I have this orientation twist type. If I turn to the front view, you can see that right now it's automatically selected to follow path. What that means is this profile is actually going to change orientation in reference to the path. So here we still get that full circular section right here. But if I actually change it to keep normal constant, you can see how this section changed and now it's more of an elliptical. Uh, section. So if I ch turn on the thin feature, you can see right here how this is more of an ellipse versus this round um, section here. So that's the difference between those two options. I'm going to close that down and now we're going to go into using guide features to or guide curves to control your sweep feature. Now if I tile these vertically, let's go to a uh, isometric of that part. You can see that these parts sort of look the same, but if I do a section cut of each and go to the top view, you can see how they're different. So Now looking at this profile of this section here, you can see how it's a rectangle, it's perpendicular to this axis, and that's actually what I'm looking for. Whereas this one, I just it's just a sweep around a 3D sketch, and you can see how this profile is actually twisting, which I don't want. So I actually want to make this part more like this part. So I'm going to minimize that one, maximize that one, turn off the section cut, and then I'm going to flatten the tree so I can see the sequential order actually of how this part was created. So we have a 3D sketch here. I'm going to show both of these. 3D sketch was my path and then this sketch which is a rectangle was actually the profile. So now I'm going to create a new path that's more of a flat path. Just go to the front plane, open a sketch and then I want to do a convert entities on that 3D sketch that so it creates this 2D shape and that's actually going to be the new path. So I created a new sketch there and now I want to take my profile path and I want to relate it to the new path. So I'm going to edit that sketch, add in here some construction geometry. So this is just a line that I'm going to make collinear to that midline on that first on that rectangle. And now I want to make sure that this is touching this new path I created. So remember, I'm going to use this Pierce relation. You have the coincidence as an option. Don't use that. Use the Pierce. That'll ensure that the two entities are actually touching. And now this sketch is fully defined. Exit out of it. And now we have the modified profile and the new path. So you can see that if I go back to that sweep feature, it's still the same uh, look that it was before. So go in to edit this feature and now I'm going to change the path from that 3D sketch to the new sketch I created. Now looking here you can see how it's it's a flat uh, look to it but I actually want this to follow that curve. Go here, go to your guide curves and you can add in as many guide curves as you want to control the actual shape and the way it's going to go along the path. So if I click that 3D sketch, add it to the guide curve section, and hit OK, you can already see that it's looking much 
better than it did previously and compared to that original part that I showed you guys. So just section cut again, go to that top view and now you can see that uh, that profile is actually more perpendicular to that axis. So those are some advanced techniques. Again, keep normal constant versus the following the path and using a guide curve to control the shape of your sweep. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for future videos.